lesson, we will need a piece of paper and a pencil. And I'm working rather large, but of course you can work much smaller. I'm going to draw darkly so that you can see, but everything I want you to draw light. I always say draw light until you know it's right, and then you can make uh, darker marks. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line that goes vertical down. Okay. And then we're going to crisscross that line with a horizontal line. And again, I'm going back and forth. These are kind of sketchy lines, so it doesn't have to be perfect. At the close to the top of that line, I'm going to do another line here. And then I'm going to draw kind of like a uh, triangle here, but a little bit more rounded. And then I'm going to bring it down. to a point here. Okay. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring two lines out from here. Make sure they're about even. And then I'm going to pull this in just a little bit on both sides. And you can pause this video at any time if you need to. And then I'm going to draw like a, kind of like a flat bottomed teardrop right here. All right. And then I'm going to, the top of where I did the teardrop, I'm going to move my pencil up and right underneath the line, I'm going to draw a, like a hook shape and then a check mark that goes like that. So same thing over here, hook shape and then a check mark down. I'm also going to come back up here and kind of give it away a little bit and draw a couple of triangle shapes up here. This might give away a little bit of what we're drawing. Okay, next I'm going to draw this shape right here and then underneath that I'm going to do a line and my center line is a little off it's okay if it is and then I'm going to draw this right in here so All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, if you haven't guessed, we are drawing an animal. I'm going to draw some eyeballs. So I'm going to do eyeballs that kind of slant down. They're, um, they're still kind of almond-shaped eyes, but they slant a little downwards. And it goes right in that curve of what we drew before. So kind of almond shaped eyeballs there. Okay. And now the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and erase our lines that we put in here for the crisscross. Those when you're sketching, um, they're directional lines to know that you have things even. Um, 
So I'm going to erase that one and the up and down one. And this again is why you draw lightly so that when you do erase, um, it will erase out of there. Okay, and then I'm going to make this an ear that comes in here and I'm also going to make this a little wider because I want mine to be just a little bit wider. So I'm going to do the fold of the ear here and then I made my face part just a little bit wider. It also helps it look like um, the ears are really coming in on the face. Okay. All right. I don't know if you've guessed what we're drawing yet or not. Um, the line that you erased here, they do have a, a slight line right there. So that's okay if you leave part of them. I'm also going to do a couple of lines that come in here like this on either side there. And a little bit wider on either side here. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle inside of my eye. And it fills up the entire eye. Like, I mean, it touches the top and the bottom. It shouldn't be a little circle. And then at the top of that, I'm going to do another circle, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and darken that in. And then this is rather dark around there, so I'm going to go ahead and color in this part of the eye as well. This is pretty dark for the animal that we are drawing. I'm also going to go ahead and draw a kind of a wavy line underneath the eye. and draw a couple of little lines up here. For the nose, I'm gonna draw another line here. And then I'm gonna draw nostrils down here. Because this is the top part of the nose, and this is the bottom. So I'm going to draw the nostrils there. I'm going to make my uh, pupils a little larger. I want them to be a little bit larger than that. Alright, this like check mark line. I'm erasing, but then I'm putting it back in as more of hair-like instead of just um, just a line. It's more like hair, and I'll bring this pretty close so you can see. So it's more like hair. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing over here, more like hair. I'm also going to uh, make this line a little less pronounced here, a little lighter. And I'm going to darken this section right here. This is the mouth part, so I'm just darkening that line there and darkening this line here. And 
And I'm also going to make this pretty dark here where they overlap each other. Okay, and this line that we had here, I'm going to, I erased most of it out, but then I'm also going to put it back in just like we did before so that it looks more like hair. Okay, it shouldn't be a straight line. It's more um, like hair shape. And hair is just all different shapes. It's not um, just triangles back and forth. It is more of a random pattern. Some are longer, some are shorter. So that's all I did for that step. I'm also going to bring out hair on the top. On the right side, I want the hair to go the right, and the left side, I want it to go out to the left. So it's kind of like it, they parted their hair down the middle. And the ears up here, I also have hair growing out of the ears. Okay, and this is a little bit bigger. So I'm doing a, a little bit bigger hair growing out of the ears. This top line, again, we're drawing an animal, so it's got hair. So I'm going to get rid of the line and make it more hair-like. Um, this line in front of the ear, I'm going to do the same thing. If you want to like erase the straight line out that you have just so that you can still see it a little bit. And then come back into it with hair. Like that. And then we need to color in the nose. Okay, because the nose is pretty dark. Now this part is tricky though because you want to color in the nose, but you want to see the difference between this part of the nose and that part of the nose. So this is kind of a medium dark color that I'm shading in here. When it gets close to that line I made, it's going to be a lighter color. And then underneath the line, it's going to be a darker color. And then the nostrils that you create is going to be the darkest shade that you can get with your pencil. Okay, so we had a medium color here. A lighter color. A little bit darker color. And then the darkest color that you have. And if you've had my class before, when I do shading, I do it much like I do with color pencils. Instead of going back and forth like, like straight lines, I go in ovals. So when I'm shading, I'm shading in ovals. And that creates a nice soft look to it. The shape of my nose is a little off, so I'm fixing that up just a little bit. All right. I'm also going to bring this down a little bit more pointy because I want this to be a little more pointy. Got to do the sound effects. All right. So we're also going to make this line that we just erased and made a little more pointy and we're going to make that hair like too. So I'm going to erase this out so I can still see it, but I'm getting rid of most of the line. And then I'm going to do hair that comes out. Again, some is long and some is short. It's very random. Okay. I'm going to bring this down here. 
and the hair went out this way on that end and on this end it's going to come out this way I'm just kind of random okay I feel a little like Bob Ross right now do a happy little hair happy little tree all right okay I'm also gonna take where I darken this in and really really refine that and make sure it's not very scribbly I'm gonna make this line for the eye really dark up here and around here really dark and the bottom really dark I'm going to also draw an oval here and an oval here okay and I'm going to bring this in a little closer so that you can see the see the oval there okay that is going to be where our highlight is and maybe i can zoom in i don't know if i can i can't zoom in yeah maybe a little bit okay i can't zoom in very much okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to shade the eye the iris of the eye a little bit but that oval that i kept in there I'm gonna leave that white and this is a, a a light medium shade it's not dark it's just a kind of a light medium shade and I'm gonna again make sure that around the eye is really dark and the uh, uh, the pupil of the eye is really dark so it'll start to look a little bit more three-dimensional with that shading Again, shade in opals so it looks pretty. Okay, I'm gonna have it outside the line. All right, and you can see the difference of a shaded eye versus a non shaded eye. So it just makes it look a little bit more realistic. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other end. Make sure that this part is really dark. It's really dark up here. And the pupil is really dark. And then I left my little oval and I'm doing a medium light shading all over the iris of the eye. Okay. And again, that just helps it make, make it look a little bit more refined and a little bit more realistic. And if you haven't guessed it, we are drawing a wolf hit. Um, and the next part of the drawing, I'm not sure if we're going to have time for in this video. I'm making this a 20 minute video for us to learn this. I'm going to make these also hair like that go on either side of the nose. These light ones beside the dark is also a little bit hair-like. Very lightly done though, very lightly. This is hair here, here, here. And if we had more time, I would show you how to shade the hair, but I'll do that on the next video. This is just the start of how to draw a wolf head. I hope you've enjoyed that, and I will see you next time in class. Bye!